So I feel like action. we often see something like this happen. When the PC shows up good, it's always something a little wrong with it. It's always something. Ugh. Oh, that sounded rough. Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Maddie with the Toasty Bros. And today we're taking a look at a $600 gaming PC from Amazon and it has some freaking weird specs. It features an RTX 2060 and a i7 processor. Which i7? I don't really know, but we're about to find out. But first, a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by FlexiSpot and their E4 standing desk. The FlexiSpot E4 is an electric standing desk that utilizes two motors for increased stability. The dual motors generate less than 45 decibels of sound while allowing the desk to hold 220 pounds of weight at any height. The E4 also features an LED control panel that comes with a sit-stand alarm and three height programmable buttons, allowing you to alternate between any height settings with no hassle. The best part about the E4 is that there's a variety of customization options for the frame and desktop to ensure you get the perfect desk. For example, we chose the Bamboo desktop as it's environmentally friendly and highly durable. FlexiSpot is a standing desk for every price point. With some crazy discounts across all their products, you can find the perfect desk for your budget at their Amazon store. For example, the FlexiSpot Essential Gaming Desk, FlexiSpot EN1, and FlexiSpot EG1 are all great budget-friendly options. Take it from us, here at the Toasty Bros office we love to use high adjustable desks and the FlexiSpot E4 is the primary desk for our film set. Check out the link in the description for more information and big thanks again to FlexiSpot for sponsoring today's video. So quick disclaimer, this PC is probably going to be a little bit weird and you guys have probably noticed we take a look at a lot of Walmart, Amazon, Newegg, eBay PCs. You gotta keep in mind, we're doing that so you don't have to. We're not doing it because we necessarily recommend them. So as of right now, I'm not saying go out and buy this thing. We're more of doing it because we're like, hey, this could be some good content. Yeah, we just want to see exactly what these computers are. And a lot of people who don't really know what they're getting into buy these computers and regret it because they have some problems. So we may save you from buying this one if it has some problems, but hopefully we have a good one because it's always good if we have a good one. So let's just go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and open this PC up. Now, one thing I do want to note is this listing, as long as the listing's correct, is supposed to include a little RGB sound bar and also a keyboard mouse and little mouse pad, no monitor or anything like that. So you don't have a full setup, but it's not too far off. One of the things that's really weird about this is RTX 2060 with a, what I believe is going to be third or fourth gen i7, but I'm always shocked every time we open these, I never know what I'm gonna find. Oh, it's the mouse pad. Oh, the mouse pad. RGB like mouse pad. I thought it was like carbon fiber from that. It's just the back of the mouse pad, but it, it's RGB. This is weird too. Is it's it like, actually wrapped. It's saran wrapped. Yeah, which I've like, I've, yeah, it's shrink wrapped. I've never seen a company do that. Oh, here's the keyboard. You know, I'm gonna do this before I like break it. Let's see if we got an actual keyboard and mouse that's not broken. Normally we always get these shipped to us and they're broke, but I think this looks pretty good actually. So we get a very, very cheap feeling, very membrane and everything. Probably gonna have a little bit of lighting to it, but obviously this is just, you know, it's stuff that sells. You know what I mean? I get it like more RGB, the more sales you're gonna get. That's just a space filler. All right, so speaker is down here, man. They really did a good job, I will say, fitting all this in one box. Very getting, efficient with the space. Yeah, getting it to us in one piece. Now, for this speaker, I'm not gonna lie, I'm surprised at how heavy it is as of right now. I mean, when I say heavy, I don't mean it's like, I just give that a feel. You'd expect it to feel like a cheap mouse, but it has some weight no, to it. No, that's actually pretty good. So maybe it's not terrible. It's a lot bigger. I thought it was gonna be like tiny, like kind no. of like a fake, you know? But no, it, it actually shows is... a lot of RGB, so I need to see where the RGB yeah. comes from. But it has a good size. We'll go ahead and just take this out because we are gonna test it. Like we have yeah. to. We gotta. But this is weird. It oh, it actually. On. Oh, so it's Ooh. wireless. Oh, it's, it's Bluetooth. Bluetooth, I think. Bluetooth mode. Dude, I'm like <laughs> this. Okay, this is cool. Like I feel like they didn't even include that, but it's it's very cool. So for the PC, um, I'm curious what 2060 are gonna have. This is it gonna be a real 2060, or is it gonna be like a you know straight from AliExpress special? 2060, where it's 2060, 2060 mobile. Well, 2060 mobile, please now. All right, so get into the PC. Um, you know, I should have looked at the mouse. Bomb, bomb mouse. Oh, is it really say bomb mouse? I mean, it's B O M, so uh, it's not quite bomb. Like a mouse looks. It looks like one of our like five dollar uh, Amazon specials, you know? Yeah. Very, very cheap. But I mean, it's the same brand, isn't it? Uh, yeah. As <laughs> Sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The fans. They're wild. Are already absolutely wild. And wow, they actually did uh, expanding foam in this. So I gotta give them props though for their packaging. Cause so far, it, like I said, it's not really, I, I think they could have done a little better with it, but it's in one piece. Where can I complain? I can't be upset. You might not have the same exact use case if you buy it and you might get really unlucky and you know, UPS or FedEx might have a little fun with your package, but. The case is the same brand as the peripherals, by the way. Is it really? It is. Huh. I will say on the instructions right here, maybe that's the name of the line, like the, the computer. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, because we have SkyTech Global and then we got that. I'm gonna go ahead and just take this off so that 
That is really for filled. B-roll purposes. Yeah, and that, you know, that stuff's not cheap. I gotta give companies props whenever they do this. Cause like we use this stuff and you're usually looking at about five to $10 per uh, pack of this stuff. And but what wow, are they that's hiding? Like, that's like really filled. My goodness. All right. Wow, man, these fans are like, I bet they're probably just Molex, but okay. So we have a NVIDIA RTX 2066 gig 1920 SP DDR6. That makes me feel like it's a dumbed down version. Cause do they actually, I didn't know those existed. Do they have lower screen <laughs> processor 2060? That sounds low too, because yes. the 580 that we used- um, Was 2048 stream processors. So I, I'm, I, yeah, we're gonna have to do some research on this one, guys. The brand is just not on there. There's no branding whatsoever on this card. That, it makes me a little worried. I'm not gonna lie, because I'm like, all right, it might say 2060 when we launch it. There's not even like any anti-tamper stickers, but like, I'm worried it's not gonna actually perform like a 2060, and that's kind of how they're making their money. Now, in terms of our CPU cooler, I've never seen one quite like this. It's interesting looking. It looks like the motherboard's definitely kind of like an aftermarket, but it's like a basically like new used board. Um, it probably has all new parts. It may have a used chipset on it. They're using the hot glue. Look at the USB 3. Wow, yeah. They hot Trying glued. Make sure it didn't come out. Some props for that. And yes, yeah, this is no branding. It is SK Hynix ICs though. I see that a lot. Or even like the no name brand Ram sticks will still use name brand ICs. That's that's good to see. It's like almost the exact same stuff that was in that Walmart computer. So it's it not super promising because we think it was the Ram that was wrong with it. Yeah, Walmart PC, if you guys haven't seen that video, that PC did not work well. Let's go ahead and open up the back and see how cable management looks. And then I think I'm gonna probably take the CPU cooler off. We'll see how their thermal paste app is and also what CPU it is before actually plugging it in. King, a little King fast here, King baby. Fast. Whoa. King fast. That must be a fast SSD. We have proprietary RGB that's powered by either SATA or Molex. So it's not the end of the world. I'm kind of glad that all the fans aren't just straight Molex. I hate the giant connector. We have to do that. Looks like everything's hooked up correctly. Kill management's, eh, you know, it's it's there. It's not amazing, but it's not, we've seen a lot worse. Power supply is goodness. really hidden. Yeah. All right. Let's just, let's, let's take just, it out. Let's just take it out. I've been around. trying to get better at these. You know, I want people to actually know everything they get. So we got to open oh, it. He has these power tools though. He ain't wasting any time. No, no we're not wasting the time with this. I'm excited to use our speaker too, guys. All right, so we're gonna do a little, oh, it's their brand. Um, oh, wow. SKPS 500, no ratings or anything. It also has bomb written on it, boom written on it. <laughs> um, yeah, 500 watt, no ratings. Um, it, it is switching. You can go from 110 to probably 220 or you know an EU standard, but probably isn't a great power supply. When I say probably, I mean, I know it's not a great power supply, but do I think it'll blow up or anything? Probably not, it'll probably be fine. So as you can see on this Amazon listing, STG is capitalized and then it's A-U-B-R-O-N. And this is the Am this is uh, the same seller. So I think that is the company. Oh, dumb. What is it? Does STG stand for something? Is, is it the SkyTech Global Abron? Oh, okay, okay. Guys, do you like my Crocs, by the way? We have some really good new thermal. Well, I don't know if I'd call it good. It's very goopy, but there is new thermal paste on there. So that's good. I mean, I hope so with a new board. Yeah, it'd be weird, a new board and new cooler. <laughs> I was like, let's just use old thermal paste. <laughs> we have an i7-4770. Wow. So yeah, four core eight thread. Um, and so to give you an idea on performance, by the way, because everyone, if you're not super familiar with PCs, you probably hear i7 and you're like, oh, that's great. The fourth gen i7 performs a decent amount worse than something like the 10th gen i3. Uh, which a lot of you are probably familiar with. It's obviously a lot worse than the, than the 12th Gen i3. That is something to keep in mind. You're getting older technology. You're on DDR3 for RAM. You cannot upgrade to DDR4 unless you get a whole new motherboard, whole new processor. And at that point, you might as well just build a new PC. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get thermal paste back on here, put the cooler back in, we get Windows. We'll see what, what Windows looks like and everything because uh, it should be pre-installed. Make sure it's activated. And then I really wanna see some more info about this card because I am onto something, I think. I, I don't trust it. He doesn't trust it. But do you wanna it. show the RGB though? Yeah, let's. Turn it on. That's a good idea. <laughs> That's a very good idea. All right, build is on and RGB. Yeah, I mean, I can't really complain about how the RGB looks. It's I'm wondering bright. if the cooler is supposed to be RGB though. It just looks like it should be and it's not. Let's see what's going on there, guys. Oh, I see it. It's this one here, which goes to nothing. It got uh, unplugged. It got unplugged. God, in the way that they have it adhesived. A little inconvenient, but you know, it's what it is. So I feel like we often see something like this happen. When the PC shows up good, it's always something a little wrong with it. It's always something. Ugh. Oh, that sounded rough. There you go. That, oh yeah, that is, that's pretty bright. You at home might have not been so lucky. You might have been like, mm, gonna have to talk to customer support for a couple hours now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get this thing on our test bench. And I guess we'll have to test out our speakers and stuff too, huh? Heck yeah, we'll put the speakers on the test bench. Woohoo. We'll do it. All right, guys. So before we start benchmarking, uh, we wanna talk about this little RGB soundbar real quick because we're not gonna be using this thing, mainly because there's a issue with it. The audio, for some reason in Oxmo, 
mode goes to sleep when it doesn't detect enough happening. I, that's the best way to explain it. Right now, the audio is on with the sound bar, but as you can tell, there's no noise, no ambient noise in Overwatch. But when I start shooting, the sound is on, you hear the ambient noise. And then it's just silent again, and we have to shoot again for it to turn back on. It is on the aux mode. I don't know if Bluetooth will make this work any better, but I think with Bluetooth, you're gonna have some sort of delay. So, eh, you know, it's still cool that they included this thing. The RGB does look pretty cool if you ask me, um, but yeah, I probably wouldn't use this as your main speaker while gaming. So that's why we're not gonna be using it during the testing. We're gonna just use our headphones that we have, but yeah, cool addition, but not working properly. All right, guys, we're playing some Overwatch 2 and we're on nights of 20 by 1080 full screen. We have the frame rate locked at, well, we have the frame rate cap at 300. And for our graphics quality, we're on the high, so right below. I didn't even know there was an old, uh, epic. I didn't know there was. I an always epic thought either. it was just ultra. Yeah. We need to start benchmarking our PCs a little harder. But as you can see, we're getting 200 FPS. The milliseconds are pretty good. I know on like really high-end systems, we'll see around three, sometimes even 2.8. Um, so a little bit higher latency, but FPS latency, I'm I'm liking it. Yeah. So I'm I'm thinking this is a real deal 2060. From you guys what like I'm my saying. backwards cat ears too. I feel off right now, man. Killed by, oh, you're back. I got whizzed. Whoa. Ah! It was breaking down. That was not a very good. Uh, you know, you... Uh, oh, she charged me up. Oh, come on. Oh, I didn't hit anything. Oh, come on. Oh, dear. Well, another thing to mention on this computer is we did have to install GPU drivers. They weren't present on the system when we first uh, got it. So that's one thing to keep in mind. There was no like NVIDIA control panel or anything. So that's obviously not gonna run ideally once you first boot into a game. So not great to see that. But also we did have to update the PC a lot. A lot of Windows updates to get games run properly. That's just kind of general stuff that you might have to do, especially if you're buying a system from Amazon that's gonna sit in a warehouse for a while. It's gonna have such an old Windows install that, you know, it is what it is. Did I hear a soldier open? Oh god, he's behind us. We're all soldiers now. Oh. Huh. Huh. Why are you back there? <laughs> They're like, oh no! That... No, no, no. You're not you're not leaving now, mister. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> oh, I don't have, I don't have my charge. What? Got him. Yay. Here we go. I think we can catch up now. Come on. Come, Come on, on, little guy. Come on. Oh. Ow. That, that was his really tire big. again. Why does he keep going after me with it? Yeah, run away, oh, Mercy. Oh. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did you, what? Did you step off? Oh, I didn't know it was going the other way. No. Oh. I was standing on the thing that has what to move. What the? <laughs> that was Overwatch. Overwatch. You know, that was a game, but uh, the game ran really well. I can't complain. Definitely. Uh, does literally a bronze mercy pocketing to tank the whole game. <laughs> they're not they're not wrong. Let's go ahead and go to the next game, guys. Alright gamers, we are now in Warzone 2.0, a game that is probably not gonna be ideal for this configuration. We're on the basic preset 1080p. And um, so far in the warm-up it wasn't looking too amazing, but look at the plane FPS. Dude at me, he's hiding. He doesn't want it to happen. Oh, but there's no roof over that thing. Alright, send it. <laughs> No! My helicopter! <laughs> Why is it falling like that? Hey, where'd this guy go? I think he, oh, he is up top. We found him. He definitely sees you. Oh! Dang, I can't believe you just got him. Wow! It. He's pissed, dude. He's probably He's like, so bad. Very angry at that. Oh! God tier nade. Oh! oh. God tier nade. Oh! No. My teammate died?! Uh, How'd that happen? I killed him with a nade. That's unfortunate, but you know what? Warzone wasn't that great anyways. I think <laughs> we're pretty limited by an older i7 with uh, older RAM DDR3 memory. It's just not ideal for a new game like this, but you know, it at least somewhat runs. What we're gonna do is run some built-in benchmarks, some other games that you might wanna play on this PC, and then we'll try this video up real quick. At least it didn't blue screen so far. Yeah.
All right guys, we just got done benchmarking this gaming PC and one of my most favorite parts about this is that it actually worked. We don't have to send something back this time. We've had some issues recently with some of the builds we've been doing because obviously as we put a disclaimer at the beginning of this video, I'm sure we're gonna have to address it again the next time we do a pre-built. We don't really usually just recommend buying these. We just buy them more for fun because you guys usually wanna see how they perform and nobody else wants to spend money on stuff like this. So that's what we're here for to waste our money. But overall, this one was actually pretty good. It definitely has a little bit of a weird configuration to it, but we did get a lot of legit parts in this and it does perform really well. Yeah, the pairing of a 2060 with the i7-4770 didn't work great in newer games like Warzone. And if you want to look more into these PCs and maybe consider one yourself, check the links down below. There'll be affiliate links and they will help us out. Let us know what you think of this one. What do you think of the value for money? Do you think the price point is right? Let us know in the comment section down below. And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. So since this PC actually works and we don't have to send it back, it will end up at PC Bros. We may do some tweaks, we may do some upgrades, we're gonna do some more benchmarking with it, but we will be selling it for a discount to help you guys out at home. And also, if you wanna buy some really cool merch like you see on the walls over here, like Matt and I wear sometimes, check out PC Bros as well. PC Bros Tech, gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and even merch. And if you use code ToastyBros2 on checkout, you'll save 2% of your next purchase. See you guys later, goodbye. Peace out.